Ti amu papa, scratch that ti am na Spanish am tosa. Si ola tu ma is tosa, ma ti kiza lang um tosa. Nela sango mu kok tosa. Si ma travel the chicken. In case you're wondering what it is I'm doing, I'm really just attempting a tackle. Today's individual who is on Garden Chats with Tuli knows all too well about what it means to be a young, brilliant beast on the rugby field. Junior Sipato Pogomela, a proud product of the New Brighton Township here in Port Elizabeth, is a South African rugby union player for the Cheetahs Pro 14 and the Free State Stars Curry Cup. He is known for being a loose forward where he confidently exerts himself as a brilliant eighthman. I'm Junior Popamela, I play for the Junior Springboks. I'm Jeremy Ward and I also play for the Junior Springboks and this is our 2020. Should we in the dreams? Cheetah's front row popping up first. Oh, Zimmerland's popped up after him, but they're still moving forward, they're still making progress. And that ball is down. If the referee is happy with the scrum, and he is, it's a try. Pocomela earned his first provincial selection in 2012 when he represented the Eastern Province at the Under-16 Grand Kumu Week. In 2014, he was selected to represent the Eastern Province at the Premier Schools Tournament in South Africa, the Under-18 Craven Week. At the conclusion of this tournament, Pocomela was included in a South Africa Schools squad. I was super fortunate to witness you in action. Here in Port Elizabeth, it is a huge part of our culture to watch Grey PE matches as it is always a great competitive spectacle for some of the youngest rugby lads in the country. How old were you when you started playing rugby and how did this happen? Um, I started playing the game of rugby at the age of seven. Um, I was in primary school and um, I remember my goal or my dream was to play soccer as my father was a professional soccer player. So I wanted to do what he did. But unfortunately, I was at the school that didn't offer soccer. So I had to settle for rugby um, and cricket. And I made the most of it and, and um, it took me where I am today. How did the move from your previous high school to Gray PE make a difference in your journey? Um, my move to Gray High School was a, was a really big one. Um, it was scary. But um, I was excited and um, I was ready to move. And obviously reflecting on it now, and I'm, I'm glad I made the move. As the school laid a, laid a great platform for me to excel in sports. So I will always be grateful to the school for that. And the likes of um, Mr. Tim Fraser, Mr. Rory Duncan, and Nigel Banz, the actual man who funded my tuition while I was there. I will always be thankful to those guys as they provided me the opportunity to excel in what I love. Um, so I always hold the school um, very close to my heart. I'd be selling your strides short if I mentioned them myself. However, you went from provincial rugby at the age of 16 to playing under 18 Craven Week. How did that feel like for you? It's every boy's dream out there to, to play provincial rugby, to, to get to test themselves against the best in their age group. And I was really privileged to, to uh, got the opportunity to represent um, my province at a young age, all the way up through to, to Craven Week, one of the biggest um, schoolboy provincial competitions. So um, it was really, really nice. I got, to, I got to test myself against the best. And obviously while I was there, I got the opportunity to represent my country as well. So it was really, really um, um, a great time of my rugby career, um, I got to realize that I am good enough um, or I, am, I, I, could, I possibly could make it in this field if I can actually put it that way. So it really laid a nice platform for my rugby career and yeah. Hmm. And when did you realize that rugby would be something that you pursued as a career? Um, my biggest goal um, as a young kid was to, to play for the Springboks to make it big in rugby as I'm sure it's everyone's, um, it's every boy's little dream to, to make it big in rugby. 
but things started shaping up for me when I made uh, the Eastern Province under 16. Uh, that's when I got the chance to play against the, um, the best guys in my age group. So um, I got to test myself against the best and uh, that's when I realized that, or well, that's when I decided that I would give rugby a shot. But um, obviously my, one of my main goals as well was to, to get a degree as my late mom was all about education. So um, I'm still in the process of getting my, my qualification um, to honor her um, for what she did or the role she played in my life. So that's when things started shaping up for me. You've played in Varsity Cup, Super Rugby, Curry Cup. How have the different levels of competition developed you as a player? I played in the Varsity Cup. Uh, I'm a player of Super Rugby and, and Curry Cup. Um, how it, it, it's helped me so much as a player um, because I, I got to measure myself against the best guys in my position. So um, it gives me a baseline of where I am at that specific point in my career. So um, that's how it actually helped me to, 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 to develop as a player and to know what I need to work on in order for me to, to be the best that I can be. So um, hopefully one day I can, I can go back and get to play more Super Rugby as it's actually one of the best competitions in the world. Um, yeah. And what is it that keeps you motivated, Junior? My biggest motivation is my family. Um, I lost my mom at a young age. Actually, I lost my mom just, just before I moved to Gray. Um, it was really devastating. So um, I took the responsibility of my, my little brother. I'm going to look after him. Um, everything that I do, I do it for him so that he could have a better um, life than I did. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to, to make life easier for him. And so um, I told myself that everything that I do, I do for my family as I saw what my mom the impact my mom had on my family. So um, everything that I do now, I do it for my family. Um, that's what drives me um, to, to keep on living, to keep on moving forward during tough times. Um, so my family is everything. As we as the world have been hit by this global pandemic, how have you adapted and what are some of your positive highlights of this lockdown? The pandemic has been really hectic. Um, I've been struggling um, to, to adapt to it as people um, have been suffering mentally, financially, people have been dying every single day. Um, it's been scary, man. Uh, it's been really scary. So what keeps it positive is that um, I get to spend time with my family and strengthen, strengthen certain relationships. And I get to sit down and, and plan on what I want to do post rugby. Um, obviously, as you know, um, rugby is my, my daily bread. I do this every single day. So this time has given me the opportunity to, to sit down and, and decide on what I want to do when this is done. So, um, yeah, this, this is how I've, I've been, um, or what I've been doing during this time. Outside of your profession, what are some of your hobbies and interests? Outside rugby, I like chilling. I like chilling with my friends and family. Um, I like play my TV games a lot, actually, which I feel like it's, it's unhealthy. Oh, I love traveling. And I'm interested in the business sector. Um, it's something that I'm trying to pursue um, in that sector. So hopefully um, in the next few months, I can I'll gather everything together and, and get it going. Hmm. So I'm curious. Let's play a little bit of a would you rather. Would you rather have a burger combo or hot wings combo? I'd rather have a burger combo. I hate hot wings. Would you rather read a book or watch it as a movie? I'll definitely watch the movie and then read the book. And lastly, would you rather drive an old school classic or a new sports car? I'm fascinated by the latest cars. I'm not really, I'm not really into vintage cars. As a proud product of the New Brighton Township in Port Elizabeth, what is the legacy you're hoping to leave behind for young persons with aspirations to play professionally? Um, as a PE boy, I just want to inspire the next um, generation. You know, um, you must just understand that wherever you are, um, you can be from the location or from the suburbs. If you set your mind to something and work hard, you, you can achieve anything that you want. You can achieve anything, um, seek for advice work really hard, um, reach out. Um, 
I, I try to to help as much kids as I can or younger guys as I can. I'm advising them on how to to deal with the pressure of being a professional sports player or to try and push uh, for greater heights in the sports industry and just in life in general. So um, I hope that I can inspire kids in that direction. It feels like it was just yesterday when I would witness Junior display his excellent rugby at the Grey Rugby School Fields here in Port Elizabeth. Indeed, time does go by quickly and what is meant to be will come for you. Thank you, Junior, for taking this time of sharing your journey of resilience. We wish you nothing but the best here at Garden Chats with Tuli, and we know that the best is yet to come. We've been motivated by the words you've shared here with us, even in our own field, to ensure that we continue to work towards our goals. Tinga Dagandi.